Automatrix M Track Theft Recovery Operation. It's Sunday, the 22nd of March 2020. Mothering Sunday today, but we're not allowed to go and see our mothers today because we're in lockdown for coronavirus. Um, so, but it doesn't stop the criminals. So, we've had a phone call this morning around about four o'clock from a customer in Birmingham saying he had his motorcycle stolen. It's a Yamaha R3 2016 model. Uh, sports bike and uh, put the union alarm at half past nine this morning and that's uh, reported a GPS signal in northeast Birmingham area and we're heading to that location the RF is now on and we're going to be just checking that out so we're going to have to do a, a radio find at that location because the GPS signal is showing that it could be in the rear garden of a house or in a property uh, the customer and uh, Automatrix have contacted the police. Uh, they're not going to that location at the moment. Um, we're not sure if they're going to turn up or when they're going to turn up. The customer has gone to the area where the street is because it's literally five, five, ten minutes away from his house and um, in a car and he can see that the, the motorcycle is not on the street so it's probably in one of the back gardens of one of these properties. So we're definitely going to need to do an RF find, so this should be interesting. Um, if the police get there before us and go into the property where we've got the GPS and find the bike, uh, then we'll just have to turn around and come back. So, but apart from that, all looks pretty good at the moment. Right, so I've stopped now and um, pulled over because the officer has given me a call. The police have managed to get to that location. Um, the customer has located his bike, it was down the uh, side garden of a house and uh, obviously the police are going to carry on with their inquiries. So I can turn around and go back, um, there is a bit of damage to this bike, he does have to get his bike back to get it repaired so he could be um, getting a, a van there um, organised by Automatrix and uh, the customer together to discuss whether he has the van. But we're also offering now um, for some of these motorcycle owners the option to have up to £200 to help repair the cost of the bike rather than the recovery fee. They don't want to claim on their insurance basically and um, obviously when people are breaking locks and damaging the ignition, knocking the barrel through, that's, that's an expense that they, they have to pay uh, even if we do get a bike back. So um, it's good that the customer's got his bike back, cracking, I'm happy about that. And we can turn round and get back towards Southampton. Um, hopefully we'll have some footage of the bike, which I can post up at the end of the video. Um, a bit of apology as well on the sound quality. It looks like the audio kit's gone AWOL. Um, having a few issues with the audio, so I'm going to hopefully sort that out for the next video. Automatrix N-Track theft recovery operation. It's Wednesday the 25th of March 2020. So, we're on our way to recover a stolen John Deere Gator. Um, this John Deere Gator was stolen last Wednesday. So it's been off the networks for quite a while and we got it to connect last night on the system, but it's a very weak signal. It's an 855D, um, probably worth about 12 to 14,000 pound. The unit has put a cell site in Pontefract area in Yorkshire. So we're heading up from Southampton it's half past four and we're going to be probably about three hours till we get to that location so it'll probably be dark when we get there now this john deere gator has been protected by an older model unit it's coming up for eight to ten years old this tracker if not more it's just a gsm and rf unit there's no gps on this tracker and the the unit is a battery device so we've got a, an allotted time that we've got to be able to recover this in probably within the next 24 hours so we've got the unit live at the moment we've got enough battery to uh, sort us out so we'll be happy there uh, at the moment the UK is in uh, coronavirus lockdown it's the third day we're still allowed to work um, if our job necessitates our us going out of home which obviously we have to travel out of home 
to be able to recover stolen vehicles, um, really part of an emergency service. We can't let the bandits run wild, you know, and just do whatever they want just because the country's locked down. So we're still going to be doing our job. I'm not sure about the police response. I'm not sure if they're going to come out to us. But what we've got to do is find this stolen gator, regardless. Okay, so I just made a call to the office just to check that this John Deere gator hasn't moved anywhere off the cell site. It's still stationary on the same cell site, um, not moving, that's, that's good. Depending on the way you look at it really, um, if it was coming down this neck of the woods it might save a bit of time, but it's stationary, at least it's stationary uh, on site there. So yeah, this was stolen last Wednesday, and um, we didn't get a hook up for like four or five days, uh, six days in fact, it was only yesterday it connected. So uh, definitely been locked up out of the way somewhere. Um, they may think it's cooled down, so we may be going straight into a bandit site or something like that, or I don't think we're gonna find it out in the open, that's for sure. Uh, we've got the customer on standby, so um, if we find the gator in, in a lay-by or in woods or something, then the customer can come and collect it on a trailer. We don't think the police are going to do forensics, although they may want to because it has been quite dry. There's been no, no rain in the UK for the last two or three days, which is quite unusual this time of year, especially since we had the wettest March on record. So it's going to be quite interesting to see where this ends up. Um, all being well that we get the RF and we can locate it. Totally criminal. Bandits stealing stuff during a lockdown, the coronavirus virus. You know, people have got enough grief as it is. Worried and stressed with what's going on in the world without their stuff getting nicked. You know, just don't understand it sometimes. Roads are pretty quiet. Not much traffic, so we're not expecting any delays. We should be getting to the south site. Then we put the roof antenna on the car. Hopefully we'll pick up the signal. We've got no GPS. We might have to match the cells with the tracker in the vehicle uh, to help us in, and we could be on foot for some of this time. Quite a lot of stolen plant and uh, equipment gets to the Doncaster area. It's um, a bit of a hot spot for stolen kit. We go there two or three times a year, no problem at all. Okay, so we're about three miles, four miles away. Just pulled over now on the lay-by to put the roof antenna on. Unlike when we've been driving around London, there's not much distortion up this neck of the woods, so uh, hopefully we won't have any difficulties picking this RF up. So let's get on the way. Okay, literally just driven a couple of hundred yards from that lay-by, and because there's no infrastructure here, it's picking up the RF um, quite early on. So um, we're just going to drive out now and see where this RF takes us, but pretty good start. We're on for a good one. Some industrial yards here. It's telling me to go straight over for the postcode. So I'll do that. I'll go over, rule it out, come back and do these industrial yards on the left-hand side. We've still got the RF, so we're not losing it. Straight over. A road down here on the left. It's a dead end, so we're just cunt Upton Country Park. Not really getting any louder in here. It's the sort of place I'd expect to find it, but... Back up the top. Definitely louder. Go left.
losing it on the infrastructure here. So it looks like it's definitely in that park somewhere. It's not going to be in someone's driveway. At least I don't think it's going to be in someone's driveway. It could be in their garage. Maybe we have to rule that out. It's quite loud air. Hill Estate, we're trying up here. Could be that we're just up higher. We've still got it. Oh, definitely higher here. Could be that we're up higher though. Turn the gain down. Go a bit higher. losing it so back I think it's just because we're up higher on this hill and I think it's in Upton Park which is the right place for a gator to go but then I'm just wondering if the bandits have sold it already sold it on to the park keeper or something I don't know maybe it's blocked away in Upton Park which is a you know it's a public park yeah, you can't leave the car here. Be asking for trouble. I reckon it's down there somewhere. I mean, the, the RF signal's coming from uh, inside Upton Park. Um, don't really want to leave the car in this area. Um, can't take the car into the park. That's a bit dodge. Gonna have to call the police at this point in time, see how busy they are and see if they want to come out and help us find this John Deere Gator. We're a Secure by Design Peace uh, partner and I'm um, tracking down a stolen John Deere Gator um, and I think I've located it in Upton Park. All right, what, what is the postcode it's at, do you know? Whiskey Foxtrot 9, yep. 1 November, Quebec. I've got Upton Country Park, Wagon yeah. Lane. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, Wagon, I'm on the high street at the moment. What is that? It's a gator. It's like, um, I suppose you say it's a bit bigger than a golf buggy. You know, it's like what the farmers would use to take haystacks on the back, you know? Like, like a, like a quad. Um, quad bike thing. Yeah, like, 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 yeah but a John Deere quad, a, a quite an expensive one, about 14, 15 grand. Okay, no worries. Right, and um, okay, officers have been dispatched uh, to your location. Um, I've got to ask very quickly regarding risk assessment. Have you or any member of your household been exposed no. to a confirmed case of corona in? No good. No. Uh, uh, have you have you or any member displaying symptoms of cough, persistent cough, and high temperature? No. Any member of your household currently isolating due to coronavirus? No. Okay, have you or any member um, of your family returned from abroad in the last 14 days? No. Okay, excellent. The reference number is 1715 of today's date. 1715, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. All the best, Cheers. Richard. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Are you tracking at the moment? I'm stopped waiting for you guys to come and help me because it, I think it's in Upton Country Park. Yeah, we're not far away from you. We're just going to come straight to you. No, we're, uh, we're in a big van, anyways. Oh, you're in a van. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Right, so the police are here now. The yeah, police are out in front of me. I think we can hear it, but...
same over that way. Yeah. I think it's this towards the end there, isn't it? So just go forward and rule it out. This seems to be the biggest path, doesn't it? So we've decided it's not in that park because we had a look in that park and now we're going to the houses right on the six. We're taking the next road up. So that's where we went then. Got about six police officers in tow behind me. <laughs> cool. Right, so we've gone down this alley and we've got a signal and garden. Police officers are walking down there. We got went up that alleyway. There. Right. right, so this is gonna be some sub story about I bought it off somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. Do you know when they brought it round? Aye. When did they bring it round? Um, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. 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 We well, find out. You fix things, he fixes it. Yeah. Very good. I've been trying to straighten that up, but I haven't been feeling too well, so. No, you ain't got you ain't got coronavirus, have you? No, not no. I've no. been to Spain, so. Have you? Oh, yeah. I'll stay a couple of yards back from you then. Yeah, mate. I, I haven't been out, mate. That's why I haven't done it. I haven't been <laughs> yeah, we need to find the serial number, don't Let's we? Serial number, Tom. There's no other damage to it. Look, look there's no said, there's no uh, keys on it, look. Yeah, he just fetched it like that. He says, "Can you fix that for me?" You want to watch out for things like that when the, when the keys are all out like that and the wires are out like that. That's can well dodgy. So what, you got to just call this call this chat back, have you, or something, when you've done he it? He said I'll just call back up. I said, I haven't done it in a couple of days. Uh, I said, I'll call back up, but I can't get any heat, and they'll know we're open. He you knows to get some heat on it to bend it back. Yeah, where, where's it twisted in? It looks well. I've had some heat on it there, look, with my blowtops, I try, try and twist it back there, can you see? Mm. And it, when it came, it had a track, the track was thrown off it. Mm. Well, the police are going to drag it out, and yeah. I suppose you've had your hands all over it, have you, this? Uh, well, well, under the wheels. It, I just tipped it up and under the wheels, yeah. Yeah, so you'd have to let the officers know. And the log, like say, he sent log off for it. They're just yeah. checking everything now. Do you know the chap's name? We dropped that off. Have you done other work for him, or? Yeah. yeah. Have all these been checked? Shafts are very all fine. What about that one in garage? Who's that one in garage? Oh, that's, uh, that's mine as well. That's yours and all? Yeah, yeah. Check it, check it. We'll just check it out. Well. Oh, yeah, they're, they're all mine, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me? Is it an Aston Martin DB6? Oh, right. Hello, yeah. These are the old police bikes. Rush. Everything's checking out though inside, isn't it? Everything else? It's found on enclosed premises. You've got enough to handle stolen goods. But we know who he is. If I can prove his identity and I can be 100% satisfied, I can get him in later today. Yeah, I can get him in later, yeah. Yeah, because the main thing is we get the property recovered. If you've got the same you've been to stay, yeah. you're not feeling cracking, I will have to interview you at a later date. Yeah. All right. No problem, yeah. Will, will you get me some ID so I can be 100% yeah, satisfied got, that it's you? I've got my driving license. That's custody's advice. Yeah. But it's no policy in place, but I run it past them and I say if you're displaying symptoms. Yeah. Yeah, you never know what to do, do for the no. best here, but 
probably a common sense, isn't it? Really? Yeah. yeah. If that, especially if it's just that one vehicle, if they're all a bit dodgy. Okay, so we're just leaving site now. The John Deere gate has been found. He's just putting that wheel assembly back on so they can recover it. They're going to forensically lift it. The chap that was working on it, uh, apparently he's just come back from Spain and he's complaining about feeling not feeling very well, so he could have Corona-19 uh, virus. He's uh, Basically, they've got all his details and they're going to question him later. The key assembly was all out, the keys were missing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be uh, repairing that type of stuff. It's, it's all... It's all non-legit, you know what I mean? It's just not good. Anyway, so uh, plenty of police turned up, which was great. A bit of a surprise, but there we had the two motorcycle police who were going to go across the fields looking for it in the park. But once we did the search in the park, the signal went down when we went in the park. I mean, we, we thought it would be in the park because it literally is 200 yards away from the park, but it wasn't in the park. We had to come back and walk, walk the streets, residential, um, and that gets a bit bit difficult with the urban canyons the signal bounces around it took us about half an hour 40 minutes to home in on it and we, when we went down that alleyway and we got the signal over the top of the garden and and the police officer had eyes like an eagle when he spotted the orange dome light and he said there's a steering wheel i think that's it in the garden and and away we went and we we got it so heading off going to go back to southampton now um if we get tired we'll pull over but it's quarter to 11 we've got four hour drive so it's going to be about 3 o'clock in the morning by the time we get back. But, also made stem track, John Deere Gator, recovered after a week of being offline. Um, we're happy and possibly there's an arrest there and the police have definitely got something to follow up. Uh, hopefully no one's going to get coronavirus. Okay, crack it.